Hello, this is Adam Rayner for Talk Audio TV. And as you can see today, I'm Harbourside. I've come to Poole in Dorset, which is the largest natural harbour in the world. Over to the left will be one of the last bastions of survival for the rest. The reason I'm here is because, well, this is a great seaside town, and it ain't exactly seasidey and warm right now. This is the time of year when the people who live here pay the price. Don't they, Mr. John Griggs, who is just heaving into shot here in this lovely spot. Hey, up, John. Hello, Adam. So it can get a bit flipping damp here in the winter, can't it? It can, yes. That's unfortunately this is the price we pay for living somewhere really nice. Yeah, these yeah. people, these people with the mooring for the huge boats. Oh, <sighs> so you used to live right here, didn't you, good boy? I, I did, yes. Yeah. Yes, that's what you get for leaving summer for your woman. Sorry, far <laughs> too much information. <laughs> uh, pool. City with the highest per square foot real estate anywhere on the planet. Isn't yes, it? on some banks, yes. This is just such a lovely place. But the reason we're here is because of, well, these um, fabulous seaside -y type products. You guys are the uh, deliverers of enjoyment, specifically for kicker products, aren't you? Yes. As well as various other ones. But the, uh, the reason we're here is because, well, I do this improbable impersonation of a bullfrog, John, which, actually, if you look at this, look, <laughs> you just get to hear the laugh reaction there. It's the thing I just. <laughs> so these are called bullfrog, and they're four hundred, three hundred, or two hundred pounds less a penny. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, and uh, that's quite a lot of money for what looks like three little boxes. Um, I believe the smallest one is. Um, we'll put it this way: if you dropped it in the marina on a string, it would be okay. No problem. It will we, even float as well. We should have brought a piece of string with us, shouldn't we? <laughs> hmm. Maybe there's another thing to do there. I do have a piece of useful string about my person in my Swiss Army. Um, so, let's have a little look at the box for the littlest one there. Let's have a little shifty. We can show the people at home. Look at this thing. So, loud and clear. Bluetooth loudspeaker. Come on, focus it. Ooh. Um, so, I believe it's uh, 360 degrees audio in, that, in as much as you can turn it in all directions and you'll still hear it good and clear. That's correct, yeah. And USB powered up with this particular one. That one's USB power, yes. Yes. Yeah. Specs on the back. IP7. 67. 67, sorry, but it has against 66, which That's is correct, the, yeah. Uh, yeah. the other ones. Let's have a little look at the thing itself. I'll give you the box back here. It's sitting out here in the ping room. It's not ping room, it's just a little moist. It does look good and bonny, doesn't it? We'll have a look at the forum factor of these and uh, then we'll have a little pair up sort of thing. Oh, a little tripod mount, you could stick it on a thing. Yep. There's a little plastic, sorry, there's a little cover, a little rubbery cover. You can open that up. Oh, it's so nice to see there is in fact a reset button there as well. So if you pair it and get confused and charge out. So once you fill this thing full of juice. Yep. You can also use it to fill your phone back up. We can, yes. I take it the um, up, down, in, out, plug holes and things are the same for each product? Um, Power out, USB in? They, they are slightly different um, because Ooh. we have USB charging on this on 5 volts. Yes. On the other two models, they are 15 volts. Ooh. They're not a USB charging. So they come with their own, own their very own war wart type thing? They do, yes. Gotcha. Yeah. And a regular power plug hole. Thing. We've seen power adapters. Yes. Yeah. Let's have a little look at the, uh, the, the, the choice of the wire, Mr. In the little box, because it's one of those, I know it sounds daft, but yeah, whip it open. There's a, there's a USB wire in there that uh, bears part of the unboxing thing. <sighs> Have you ever tried to replace a USB wire that wasn't charging properly on your thing and, and you buy one and it breaks and you buy another one and it's crap and I can tell you that if you get a kicker um, bullfrog the chances are you're going to end up nicking this wire to use to charge up other products. There we go, let's just make sure I can't see anything else. There we go, it's just a USB wire but look how fat it is. It's a good chubby one. And of course, that's micro USB, USB, not USB C yet. Of course, that's uh, that's yet to come. Yep. Samsung already just adopted that one, dude. How many watts, Mister? How many watts? Um, they are sixteen watts. Is, have they got the same amp in each one? I, I believe they have. Ooh, yep. that means that there's plenty of muscle, especially in the little one. Yep. And uh, when it actually rocketh, um, there's more real estate with speakers in the bigger ones. Yeah, well, it's not just speakers in them as well. We actually use passive radiators as well. That's very kicker, isn't it? Yes. Oh, I think it's going to be up to time to uh, have a little go at pairing one up. I tell you what, actually, I mean, it's all very well to be sitting here on the uh, 
the water side here but uh, one of the things that we're going to do today is we're going to have a look at a bunch of kit on a uh, on a test bench somewhere and um and have a little play but what we can do is just to do it live just live let's pair one of these things up so let's fire up the biggest one that's it fire up the biggest one do, do, do. No, 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 not you, dude. Money, no, I'm me. Ju I'm just going to turn my Bluetooth off. You can turn, turn your Bluetooth off. I was about to say, because I've got some YouTube music that's copyright free. It's kind of groovy. Do, do, do. Actually, it's, it varies, but I, I think it seems it might be horribly compressed, but we'll see. Let's uh, turn Facebook off, Adam. Yes, oh, for gosh sakes. Do, do. And uh, Google Music Play. I email these things to myself, having got them from YouTube. And, uh, yes, let's, uh, open up. Okay. Ooh. A bit of organ music. Actually, first off, let's do the Bluetooth. We've got to yeah, connect the damn thing. Yeah, there is a little yeah. bit of detail there. Here we go. So I'm just uh, going to the Bluetooth on my phone. Connections. Bluetooth. Connect to nearby devices. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. On. Come on in. Connect. I'll press the magical screen. Oh, here we go. BF 400 kicker. Now, the interesting thing is, is there's a whole rash of little identifiable thingamajigs that have come up on there because of the, um, the actual uh, Bluetooth device inside there comes as its own thing. I mean, that's it. I'm basically, I'm connected. It, it, it was that hard. You, I take it you put it into uh, connect zone, as it were, just um, for me, didn't you? Did you just press go then, or? Yeah, just press play. Okay, that's a bit of this, dude. Yes, that's a big tune. Yes, a bit of organ music. Let's turn it back up again. That that can completely, absolutely overmodulate my microphone. Oh, acoustic circles. Bit of twangy music now. a bit of bass. <laughs> the joys of YouTube music. Ladies and gentlemen, I think, I think we might be at the point of being about to disturb the neighbours here. We've got a little battery powered thing and it's like, oh no. <laughs> That really is. The look on your face there was um, one thing I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing when I actually get the uh, the rushes together. But yes, a pride for the seaside on a sunny day. But here in pool off season, well, we can just look on and marvel at these domiciles and wish for the lifestyle that meant that you had to have the magic word Garmin on a huge thing on the back of your boat there. Mr. John Griggs, thanks ever so much. I think we're probably made our little outdoor point here we can we can go and have a little slightly closer look indoors can't yes we? yeah i've got the app at awesome as well. oh, john thank you very much indeed yes um and the next thing you're going to see a uh, a fat bloke looking really upset at how good this man's test bench is versus mine it's not fair it's absolutely not. okay we're back at the uh celsius ice warehouse now where the test bench belonging to mr john griggs lives i'm so jealous of this i can taste it he's got every possible facility We'll have a look at that in a couple of minutes in a moment. But we've brought the three bullfrogs back here. And, uh, well, John, I believe there is an app you were saying that uh, that this thing's actually are all bossable with. you. In the video, we just paired up my phone, pressed go, and off it went. But uh, show us your phone. To That's correct. Right. Okay. Let's get right in close there, dear boy. It's called Kicker Connect. Okay. And basically what this will do is then connect to the bullfrog. Uh -huh. 
um, but it will also give you con control of the bullfrog. You've got uh, five different... Um, Can we hook it up while we're doing this? Rather than see the screen, it's, it's connected to a bullfrog. Yeah, we're already connected to the... Uh, is, is that one on? We're on to the 400, uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. um, we can play music, yes. Uh, and then once we go in, into the unit, we have different settings. Ooh. It's kind of groovy. Yep. Turn it a little bit there so you can see it slightly better. Take us through the things. Press some buttons, Geezer. Okay, so we have uh, on our main uh, display on there, we've got our auto connect, uh -huh. auto play, uh, and standby. Yes. And um, the bullfrogs will actually turn themselves off. Um, after 10 minutes of not seeing the signal, right, sure. so we can set on, on there. Um, we've also on the... Uh, I'll show us some control then, can we see this screen, come on. Okay. This is YouTube, people get impatient, rule follow. <laughs> <laughs> we ha also have our radio function on there, which is on uh, the, the 200 and the 400. So, so is this radio. taking FM radio from the internet? Or no, from your no, from or? yourself. We're just controlling oh, the ball from. Uh, yeah, because FM we, chips are cheap. It's in there. It, it's built into the two, onto the two hundred and the four hundred. But the only access to the radio is um, go give us a bit of radio. Come on, let's hear something. Um, is uh, via uh, that looks like a pirate. If that's ninety six point seven, you're listening to. Him. So we are inside. La 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 la. Yeah, that's enough of that. <laughs> More than a few seconds and we get charged for it. So yeah, that was an FM distorto sound. Perfect yeah. rendition. Uh, we can also go into up and, uh, down, up and down so we can use the volume on Can on you mute. use that to control it with somebody else's phone supplying the music? It has to be one Bluetooth hookup. One Bluetooth hookup. Yeah, yes. you can't yeah. you couldn't play my music with your control. I'd have to get the app as it were. Yes. But come back to the house. I've fitted the uh, fitted, I've downloaded the Kicker Connect app there, so I'll bosh that open. Connecting to. Do, 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 do. Tap here to fill entire screen. Okay. Come on, machine. Here we go. Reading. It's reading a pop. There we go. And it says it's a BF400. What do I do? Ooh. Can I just uh, press that? Okay, if you press. The, the source button. Source button, which to the is left, to the, that one. That looks like an on-off button to me. Yeah. So that will turn the unit on and off. Yes. Uh huh. Then if we press the source, the Bluetooth button. Oh, hang on, it's gone red. Yeah. Auxiliary, Bluetooth. Yes. So Bluetooth. Do I then just go to my own music and start playing to make exactly. it? Exactly. Yeah. So do that. Hit uh, the magic button. Let's turn that up there. Hit the magic button for the apps and play music. And um, ha, rural stride. So there it is. Let's rock this warehouse. Tell you what, John. Take the Bluetooth device and wander off with the gun. We'll just. Uh, I hear it fading into the distance while I show folks the other bits there. It's Mr. John Griggs walking off. Yep, he's, he's going quite a long way away with it now. He's filling the warehouse. So this is the smaller bullfrog. I think I might have it a little bit too loud, perhaps. It's drowning me out, even on the other side of the warehouse. On off, up and down, play, plus and minus, pair buttons. This is the one that you can put actually uh, in the swimming pool. <laughs> he just wandered off across the warehouse with that thing absolutely rocking. Now, uh, one of the really cool things about this uh, set of kit is that as well as obviously having lots of power to be able to play music for a really long, to 12 hours, but really quite a lot of, you know, Quite a lot of volume with the small one, but 20 hours with those big ones. Um, there's a 100 foot of Bluetooth range. The point about that huge length of time to be able to play it with is that you can actually use it to charge up your phone. Because if you've actually charged the thing up, um, in this case there's USB in and there's USB out. In the uh, case of the big one here, oh, that's got a high Donald Gennaro rating, that's the accountant out in Jurassic Park. There's your DC 15 volts in, external antenna, 
That's if you want to pay FM and you, yeah. Yes. Auxiliary in. So, can we pair a second one up and play it in stereo? Can we do it live? We'd have to stop it. How's it work? <laughs> That's quite a wait. Okay, Griggs here, do your thing. Turning that one on. Do, 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 do. I'm going to move the meaty one over here. Because that's. Uh, if you go into your app. Kind of stereo here. Okay. App. Do, 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 do. We've just entered it into onto parity mode. Okay. Bit of bees out from common. Connecting. Connecting. Okay, do we have to do another uh, magical pairing thing, or what, uh, what do we do? Yeah, we do in a second. If we okay. come up to that that screen, when we come up on the screen. Okay, still waiting for the. Uh, I pressed it twice, I'm afraid. I've got impatient. Just waiting for the app to uh, to kick in. So it's connected to the one, even though it says on the screen not connected and the app's not come up. Is that the app misbehaving? Yes, sir. Uh, it's already connected. It's okay. connected Bluetooth for the yes. audio, but we need to connect for um, connectivity for the uh, ah. control. Okay. Connections. There we go. There we go. Sorry, that was me being ignorant. Right, what do we Let's do? Put this in, back into pair mode. Do, 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 do. Very mind, we've not rehearsed, not done anything like this. Da, 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 da. Connecting a second bullfrog is easy. On the second speaker, press the play. So I that's... just heard that leap into stereo. I'm sorry, if the march of the Toreadors doesn't make you want to sing opera and march around like a pillock pretending to be a soldier, you have a heart of stone. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Kicker Bullfrog. That's a family of fairly serious flippers, fairly bloody serious bits of kit. So, I've got to ask, um, as well as the bits like what you can see, there's round things, uh, passive radiators, the Kicker thing is a, often about a radiator. So, some of the speakers in here aren't actually cone-driven, they're just wibbling under their own bass power type thing? That's correct, yeah. There's there's two speakers in each and uh -huh. two passive radiators in each. So, I'm turning this around, you can just, in some cases, see the, the grill. So the passive radiators, I would suggest, are the square bits. Because round things are generally driven better by voice cars. They are, yes. Yeah. Oh, and look, 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 you've got a passive radiator above a driver on one side and blow it on the other. Is that because they've got a monstrous great magnet on and they'd interfere with each other's bottoms if they're inside that box? Dude. And I have to tell you that uh, it's actually too heavy for me to lift up at the arm's end there like that. So. They are designed to be extremely robust. Yes. Uh, if you would like to, drop it on the floor. Oh, gosh, no, no, no. I'd, 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 I wouldn't want the cosmetics to be damaged at all. They are designed They're to, designed to, to be, uh, withstand. They're just, they're <laughs> even dyspraxic idiots like me. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> it's a tough piece of kit. Yes, that's as rough as I'm going to get with it. The kickable frog. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen... Mr. John Griggs, thank you so, so much, dear boy. Oh, and the website is... Is uh, kickeruk.com. Just put kicker bullfrog in and it will give you the chance to choose American or UK, guys. Cheers. Adam Rayner, John Griggs, signing out.